My name is Nicole Yoder, the Vice President for Aid and Aliyah at the International Christian Embassy. And my Holocaust hero is Corrie ten Boom and her amazing family. At age 12, while watching the movie The Hiding Place, I first learned about how the ten Boom family saved Jewish people during World War II. Using the family watch repair shop as a cover, they built a hiding place in their home to protect those who came to them while they looked for escape routes and places of refuge for them. For two years, Corey and her family were part of the resistance. Corey helped save 100 Jewish orphaned babies, and it's estimated that some 800 Jewish people came through their home before they were betrayed by a Dutch collaborator. Nearly 30 other resistance members were arrested when the Ten Booms were betrayed, but the six people who were in their hiding place were saved. Corey and her sister Betsy were sent to Ravensbrück concentration camp, where Betsy eventually died. Corey was released from Ravensbrück due to a clerical error at the end of 1944. She went on to open their home to Dutch collaborators and those who were spiritually and emotionally damaged by the war. She worked in Germany helping the destitute and spoke around the world about forgiveness. Corey's story inspired me as a young person to learn about the Holocaust, but her work and example after the Holocaust challenged me to consider what I could do today to carry forward that legacy of friendship between Christians and Jews. In many ways, I am here serving in Israel today because of how Corey's story inspired me. Many times when hearing about the Holocaust, one is tempted to wonder, what would I have done? Corey challenges us to think, what can we do now to create a better future? I am proud to participate in Yad Vashem's Holocaust Hero Project and to serve as an ambassador of Holocaust remembrance. I encourage you to submit your Holocaust hero to Yad Vashem as well.